All right, hey, my name is Dr. Michael Graham. I'm here at Moss Lane Marine Labs. I've actually got a dual role here at the facility. I'm a professor. I teach seaweed biology, aquaculture, marine ecology here at the Marine Labs, which is part of the Cal State University system. At the same time, I'm also a researcher where we do a lot of work on aquaculture and kelp forest ecology. Um, and in doing that work, we spawned off a company, an actual for-profit company here called Monterey Bay Seaweeds. It's right here at the Moss Lane Marine Labs. Uh, aquaculture facility. So Monterey Bay Seaweeds is, it was one of the first land-based seaweed farms in the United States, outside of Hawaii. There's lots of seaweed farming in Hawaii. Um, but here um, in the United States, most seaweed farming has been offshore. And in California, it's been very difficult to get offshore permits to do seaweed farming. So about five years ago, my wife and I um, decided to spin off some of uh, our research ideas uh, to look at whether we could be farming seaweeds here on land to be eaten um, by humans. Um, and in this case, we're only interested in fresh and raw seaweed. That is providing seaweed to restaurants in a way that hasn't um, been processed. So it's the most raw form, as if a chef had just picked those seaweeds right off the rocks themselves. Yeah, so here in Moss Landing, it's great. You know, there is a long history of, of commercial um, resource utilization, right? And so whether it be squid or, or sardines or other fin fish um, or even historically abalone in the region, you know, Moss Landing has always been uh, an important component to that. It is still a working port. Uh, in that aspect. There is a lot of research going on. There is a lot of pleasure craft in Moss Landing Harbor, but there are a lot of fishing boats that continue to utilize this um, as, as their, part of their daily activities. Um, and so, you know, the, the excitement of being here in a working port and providing another way for producing seafood that I think Californians can be proud of, it fits, it fits into the history of what Moss Landing has been. Um, and, uh, and I think because of that, um, our activities have been pretty well received uh, locally. Um, you know, people get proud of what they hear about going on in Moss Landing. Um, and I don't think it's surprising when they start to hear good stories about aquaculture that they're coming out of Moss Landing as well.